Welcome back to the shop. As many of you may remember, I recently installed a new PBA eight and a quarter inch three jaw adjustable chuck from All Industrial Tool Supply. I've used this now for a little over a month and I was curious if it was holding its accuracy. So I thought we would take a look. So let's get set up and see how accurate this chuck's holding. For this test, we'll be using Edge Technologies Tool Post Indicator. This is a new addition to my growing family of quality Edge Technology tooling. For testing, we're going to use the most accurate things I own. Half inch gauge pin, half inch carbide end mill, and a 5 8 carbide roughing end mill. I already have a straight shaft dead center in here. Looks pretty good. Before we get started, I wanted to give you a closer look at this chuck. Again, it's an eight and a quarter inch, a single scroll lock. As you can see, there's only one. It's a D1-5 mount, and as you can see, it's adjustable. So it has uh, four of these set screws, so you adjust it basically just like a four-jaw chuck. Like I mentioned in the previous video, I had to take a few skim cuts off the backing plate to get the chuck mounted to it. Since then, I zeroed it within a couple tenths and have not touched it since then. So I've used it probably about 15, 20 times now. Uh, pretty light cuts, uh, nothing real heavy duty, but I gotta tell you, I really like this chuck. The lathe runs smoother. With this chuck, it's a huge improvement on the performance and cut quality of the lathe. First up, the 5 8 carbide rougher. pretty happy with those results. This baby's holding true. Since we're at the lathe, let's do one more test and align our tailstock using another one of Edge Technologies tools. For this test, we'll be using two dead centers. Uh, this is a Morse Taper 5 and my tailstock is a Morse Taper 3. The Edge Technology tailstock alignment bar has two tapered holes and these are ground and hardened. We have the alignment bar between centers and the tailstock and quill are locked. So now we're going to bring our indicator to the first ground end and we're going to zero it out. Then without moving the cross slide, we're going to bring this down to the other ground end. Look at that. I'm glad we did this test. I'm a little over a thou out 
that way with the tailstock. So let's check it one more time. So there we are, same result. A little over a thou, that way. So let me get a four millimeter Allen wrench so we can uh, get this guy back in to zero, running zero. My tailstock has two set screws in here, one on each side, and they push into each other basically. And that's what we need to do. We need to loosen one, tighten the other till we get it to zero. So I'll mess with that, get it close, and then we'll take another look. So after fiddling back and forth with my set screws, I got it zero at 12 inches. So let's take a look. Just move the camera over and as you see, we got zero. I have to say, I'm very happy with today's test results. The chuck held true and we got our tail stock aligned. In closing, I'd like to mention both All Industrial Tool Supply and Edge Technology are both sponsors of the Barzi Summer Bash. Both of them donated some really nice raffle prizes this year. And also, All Industrial is a distributor for Edge Technology. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Until next time, see ya!